Hey, what's up? I'm Lacey and I'm here with a review of Neatrum's two charcoal holders, the Neatrum Baton and the Neatrum Stylus. I've had both of these for quite a while. I've intended on doing a review for quite some time. And recently I was reminded of that thought that I wanted to do a review on these because I got a message somewhere showing that Neatrum is going to be releasing an updated version of the baton. At this point when I'm recording this, it looks like we've still got four to six weeks left before the announcement of what that's gonna be and when it's available, but I'm really interested to see what happens. So for now, I'm gonna review these two and hopefully I'll be reviewing the other baton when it comes out. If you're interested to see me review that or any other uh, materials or charcoal holders, just let me know in the comments below. So first here we have the Neatrum Baton. This one is at a lower price point. So let me go ahead and start with that one and get this out of the way. Now, like I said, I've had this for a while, so this is not truly an unboxing. I can't remember what came in the other side of this, if anything, but I do like the box that it came in, so I kept it. And inside here we have the baton. So the baton is made entirely out of plastic. There's nothing on here that is not plastic, and that's not super exciting for me, especially because this thing isn't cheap at all. It has a handle, which is a good size. It is completely hollow. And there's the end where the batons belong. This is made for the smaller size of the Neatrum charcoal, the batons. I can't remember what the other ones are called, but it's not meant to hold the larger ones. There's kind of a uh, square type of a shape at the end that is meant for those smaller ones. And then there's a collar on it. This is what tightens the whole thing and holds it in place. And in order to loosen it, you go toward the charcoal end. In order to tighten it, you go toward the handle. The end of this pops off. And the idea is that you can then put the entire stick of charcoal in this end and it'll come out that end and then you adjust it. Now, I really haven't had a lot of success using this that way. I have put charcoal in this end and when the charcoal is not completely straight, which is a normal occurrence with Neatrum and usually with vine or willow charcoals in general, it just doesn't end up fitting and coming out the other side. It gets stuck, it breaks, that kind of a thing. So typically the way that I've been using this is actually to open up the collar and then use my fingers to pull apart the ends and put the charcoal in that way and then bring the collar back down. I will say when I have put an entire stick of charcoal in here, I've had that break. So I'm usually just using this with already broken or already short pieces of charcoal. And the thing that I really, really don't like about this is that it tends to make the charcoal make some really horrible, horrible noises. This problem happens more often when using hard charcoal and when using the charcoal like long. So if the stick of charcoal is pretty short in here, it's not as much of a problem. If it's soft, it's not as much of a problem, but a longer piece of charcoal, which is usually what I use, sharpened to a nice point, and a harder grade of charcoal, again, which is usually what I use. I prefer the HB and the B, um, especially the H just makes some really bad noises in this thing. So I don't use it very much. Now let's go ahead and compare to the stylus. Here we have the packaging of the stylus. This is really significantly packaged up. We've got the sleeve on the outside. I could probably get rid of that. I don't think I really need it. Again, I've had this for a long time, so it's not necessarily an unboxing. There may be something missing in here that I can't remember, but I think I have it all intact. We've got these different colored ends that correspond to the different hardnesses of the charcoal. So you can label this stylus that way and show what kind of charcoal is on the inside. 
that's pretty handy if you wanna buy four. It's gonna be pretty expensive if you buy four because these run about 40 bucks each. The last time I checked, there is a special on their website where you can get two for 40 bucks. So if you're interested in these, you might wanna take advantage of that. Um, but it is nice to know and remember what kind of charcoal is in there because I have found once the paper falls off of the charcoal and I don't know what grade it is anymore, you know, I guess I just don't know. I don't know what grade it is. So I like that. I also like that the end here is made out of metal. It's not plastic, but the body of this is plastic. Granted, the plastic here is heavier. It feels more significant, but it's still kind of a bummer that for something that costs $40, um, that it's still mainly plastic, kind of a bummer. So it comes with that. It comes with this little enamel pin, which I love. This needs to make its way onto my jean jacket, has not yet. And it comes with a sampling of the charcoal, which is great. So this is meant for the larger sticks of charcoal. I have not tried the smaller sticks in it to know if those would fit. And once again, the idea is that you can remove this end, put the charcoal through this end, have it come out the other end, so that you can then adjust it and the collar this time goes toward the charcoal in order to tighten and hold it in there. I have not had problems with the charcoal breaking in this, but do be aware if you put the charcoal through this end, it may just completely fall out the other side, so keep your hand there to catch it. Now this thing is not immune to the noises that I described with the Nitrum baton, so I am still, especially with harder grades of charcoal and longer pieces of charcoal, I am still getting that noise. But uh, with shorter pieces, with softer pieces, that is less of a problem. You know, maybe there's some kind of a workaround for this that I'm not aware of. Maybe, um, I don't know, there's, there's something else about how to use this or how to have the paper, I don't know. So if there's some secret to this and you know, please let me and everybody in the comments below know about that, share that information with me. But that is one of the things that I just feel is a bummer about this. I feel like what's happening is that there's not enough weight. There's too much thin, hollow material that is just causing some resonance or something when drawing, especially with the hard, sharp charcoal. So that is kind of a bummer. So keep that in mind um, when you're looking at purchasing this. My hope when I'm thinking about both of these is that eventually we'll have a Nitrum stylus or baton or whatever that is made out of more solid materials. Let's move away from the plastic. When we are with a high-end brand, we are using the best of the best. Why not have other materials, right? So I would say I love the idea. I love the idea of extending the length of the charcoal, having something to grab onto that is not the charcoal itself, helps keep your hands clean, that you can tuck the charcoal away in the handle when you're traveling. Um, I love all of that. I just want to see the materials improved and improve the idea of whether or not this thing is making sounds when you're using it. To me, the sounds are unbearable, and certainly when you're in a group situation at a life drawing session or something like that, and you're the one in the corner with the really annoying squeaky noises coming from your charcoal, it's just not fun. So there you have it. There is my review on this. My recommendation, if you want to try one of them, try the stylus and see how you like it, but be aware, especially if you like to use harder charcoals. If you like to use softer charcoals, this might be just the one for you. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. Let me know any questions that you have about this or any other materials in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.